you're back for another episode of The Space, a mindfulness podcast that's not like the others. I'm your host, Casey Donovan. Together with Amy Malloy, we use every Wednesday to explore positivity and how to look on the brighter side. Do you hate follow anyone on social media? It's a safe space here. You can admit it. We all know what hate following feels like. When someone infuriates you, but you follow them anyway. You search them out on TikTok. You look for their face on Instagram stories. You can't believe what they're saying. You can't believe what they're promoting. But you also know everything about their life. Why do we stalk them if we also can't stand them? According to experts, hate following can be addictive, but it's a short-term fix. It can help us to feel something, anything, if we're low. It can help us to redirect negative emotions to a stranger. Judging other people can make us feel better about ourselves, temporarily. But it's a bummer in the long term. According to experts, the hate cycle isn't healthy. In fact, the more we hate follow people, the worse we can start to feel about ourselves, period. So, how can we end the habit? And how can mindfulness help us? The good news? Your feed doesn't need to be a total love fest. Hate following someone doesn't mean you hate them. You can feel ambivalent or just conflicted. This is according to Pamela Rutledge, a professor in media psychology. Try to avoid following people you really can't stand, she says. You can, however, follow people you have mixed feelings about. Be curious about what makes them popular with other people, says Pamela. Try to understand what motivates them. Get curious about their place in society. Come from a place of curiosity rather than spite. Then you can hate without the heat. And social media might be a happier place after all. I'm your host, Casey Donovan, and you've been listening to The Space. We're back tomorrow with another mood-boosting episode. Why you can't empty your mind when you want to, and why you don't have to. Space out.